Hey, lifelong learners, we me back with another video. I haven't done one of this in a while. So we're back with the CryptoZombies.io tutorial lesson on learning Solidity. This time you want to look at chapter 11, which is Ketchak 256 and typecasting. We want our generate random DNA function to return a semi-random uint. How can we accomplish this? Ethereum has the hash function Ketchak 256 built in which is a version of SHA-3. A hash function basically maps an input into a random 256 hexadecimal number. A slight change in the input will cause a large change in the hash. This is important for the future. It's useful for many purposes in Ethereum, but for right now, we're just going to use it for pseudo random number generation. Also important, Ketchak 256 expects a single parameter of type bytes. This means that we have to pack any parameters before calling Ketchak256. Here's an example, Ketchak256 ab.encode packed a, 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 B. and here's the same basically like the Ketchak256. It encodes a, 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 C. like we see the difference here, like it's only one character that is not the same, like the B is here and the C is here, but the hash basically just is completely different, right? Even if we just change like one letter, it changes the whole thing basically. So it really has no way to say, hey, this one was changed from a B to a C because I don't know, like this four digits changed or something like that. So that is what a hash function basically does. As you can see, the returns values are totally different despite only a one character change in the input. Yeah, that's what I just said. Note, secure random number generation in blockchain is a very difficult problem. Our method here is insecure, but since security is not top priority for our zombie DNA, it will be good enough for our purposes. All right. Typecasting. Sometimes you need to convert between data types. Take the following example. U and 8. A equals 5, U and B equals 6. So the comment says it, this will throw it up an error because A times B returns an U int and we are using an U int 8 here, so this is not possible to do. Remember, U int basically, like undeclared, is always a U int 256 in Ethereum. U int 8. C equals A times B. We have to typecast B as a U and A to make it work. Why do we have to do it? So yeah, right, I get it. This time we would be declaring the U and A, the C to be a U and A, but we are still using B, which is a U and 256, and this can't be, so we have to use the typecast function. We have to typecast B as a U and A to make it work. U and 8, C equals A times U and 8, B. In the above, A times B returns a U and, but we were trying to store it as a U and 8, which could cause potential problems. By casting it as an U and 8, it works and the compiler won't throw an error. Yeah, right, so we have to be using the same data types if we're using uints, like we can't just go ahead and mix uint8 with uint16 and so on. Put it to the test. Let's fill in the body of our underscore generate random DNA function. Here's what it should do. The first line of code should take the ketchak256 hash of ab.encode packed underscore str string <laughs> to generate a pseudo random hexadecimal typecast it as a uint and finally store it in the result in a uint called rand. Two, we want our DNA to only be 16 digits long. Remember our DNA modulus. So the second line of code should return the above value modulus, person DNA modulus. Oh, wow. So let's start with one. Start here. Of course, we're starting here. So the first line of code should take the catcheck 256 hash of AB encode packed underscore screw. So we're just looking out for what they did in the example, and that would be like catcheck 25 
six bracket a b encode packed and then it's the string we're passing along from the memory string we just declared here like the uh, random dna stored into the underscore str typecast it as uint and finally store it the result in a uint called rand so we're still missing the semicolon here and this should be our start so the catch check function with this is now inside of our contract and now we have to typecast it as a new int and then finally store it or store the result in a new int called rand so i think we have um to declare a new int rand in here which basically would mean random i think and then we have to find out how to typecast this as a uint because coming from a string here uh, we have to kind of convert it to a uint right so uh, i would think that it has to be something like oh damn let me just think about it how do we typecast Typecasting is explained here. So what we're doing here is setting a new in eight for this variables. And then we're calling something that is not a new in eight, like basically just before the bracket. So we would have to typecast the string as a new int. So I would think that we have to um call you int and then underscore str maybe in brackets ah, i'm not really sure about the typecast thing here because i'm not sure how to exactly typecast right <laughs> i could uh, we could call like what is as a, what is typecasting doing is it like if we're putting something in brackets, is that already typecasting? So I've been thinking about this for a while. How do we actually typecast it as a uint? Can we actually like call it like uint rand and then say equals this function? But if we read this again, typecast it as a uint, we are missing this part, right? We are just like storing it in an integer called rand, which means random, I would say, right here. But we're missing the typecast it as u in part. And if I get it right, then this would mean it should be equal u in, and then inside another line of brackets. This should save our result, right? U in rand typecast is oh, unit. U int catch check two fix two five six blah blah blah. I think that line of code looks good. And the second one is we want our DNA to only be 16 digits long. Remember our DNA modulus. This is above here. So the second line of code should return the above value modulus DNA modulus. This would mean return rand modulus DNA modulus semicolon. Is this right? Is this the way to put it? I can't remember really. So let's try it. No. Ah, so we're expecting a space bar here, right? Try again. Still not right. Unit is gone from here. The AB code is right. 
Ah, we're, miss we're, ah, we're missing a bracket here, right? So we need three. One. One open, two open, three open, and three closed ones. Let's try again. All right. You have Triumph Solidity Cowers in the front of our might. Lesson unlocked. Oh, this was a hard one. I really think that it's kind of hard to follow this one. <laughs> but if it was fun, just uh, shoot me some feedback and I will happily upload another episode. I think we are long into this one, so I don't have to uh, get to another lesson right now. But happily doing another one if you guys liked it. See you soon.